In today's video, get ready to see China's newest advanced high-speed trains. Hi everyone, this is Arthur and I'm back with something amazing to show you. So don't forget to subscribe and get notified to keep you updated with our great videos. Today, let's talk about China's newest advanced high-speed trains. So get ready to see something amazing from China. Because what you will see in this video is all about the most advanced and latest high-speed trains from China that could be better than other countries. And so, without further ado, here we go with our video. Number 1 is China debuts Super Bullet Maglev prototype. A prototype high-temperature superconducting maglev train was unveiled in Chengdu, China. This train has a maximum speed of 620 kph. It has a lightweight all-carbon fiber body, bullet-shaped nose and uses heavy-haul high-temperature superconducting technology. A 165-meter line to test the new train was launched. Compared to other maglev technologies, HTS Tech is more suitable for a futuristic concept of superfast transportation in vacuum tubes, where trains could hit speed of over 1000 kph. Number 2 is China's new high-speed train. With a max speed of 400 km per hour, this China-developed high-speed train can run on different rail systems, an important development to improve cross-border travel. Equipped with a gauge-changing bogey system beneath the cabins, the train can convert its rail mode while running on international routes. The whole conversion process is smoothly completed in a matter of minutes. There are four main railway track standards in the world. It usually takes at least 3 hours to replace the train bogies. The new train can operate in temperatures between minus 50 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. Number 3 is new Fuxing high-speed train to debut in China. New Fuxing bullet train will be put into service on a new rail line linking Yinchuan and Xi'an, both in northwest China. The CR300BF Fuxing bullet train has a design speed of 250 kph. It will reduce travel time between the two cities from 15 hours to 3 and a half hours. Number 4 is High Speed Freight Train launched in North China. A brand new electric multiple unit freight train developed by China has rolled off the assembly line. With a speed of 350 kph, it can meet the demand for fast freight services requiring 600 to 1000 km of transportation.
It can operate in all weather conditions with prominent advantages of high efficiency and frequency, as well as low cost. China has become the first country in the world to realize such a high-speed flight, marking a significant improvement in China's independent innovation ability in rail transport equipment. Number 5 is China debuts high-speed train for extremely low temperatures. China debuts a high-speed train that can operate under temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. This is Fuxing CR400 AFG train with a design speed of 350 kph. It is expected to run on the high-speed railway between Beijing and Harbin. To ensure safe operation in extremely low temperatures, the new bullet train has some advanced technologies. The micro-ceramic porous material has been used to prevent the condensed water. The train has automated anti-freeze functions in its brake system. It also has insulation material and heating in its water tanks and pipes. Number 6 is Beijing Chengde High Speed Rail Starts Operation. China started trial operation for a high speed railway connecting Beijing and Hebei Province's Chengde City, a popular summer resort about 230 kilometers north of the Chinese capital. The model of the electric multiple unit Fuxing train has a speed of 350 km per hour and can operate at temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius. The developers also used a unique switch control to work generally in extreme cold weather. Number 7 is China develops high-speed train. Chinese train maker CRRC Changchun Railway Vehicles rolled out a new type of high-speed train. With a standard speed of 400 kph, the train can run on different rail systems of international routes. It can also operate in temperatures between minus 50 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. The train is expected to improve travel efficiency as it can automatically change its rail mode during cross-border travel. And that concludes this video for today. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.